Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to talk about the wiki server that is a part of Lion Server. And so here in the server application you can see we've got the wiki up, it's running, we've got a green dot, you can see the service is turned on. And if you noticed right within the server application itself there's not a lot of customizing we can do. Uh, the only thing we can do is choose whether or not uh, wikis can be created by all users or only some users so that we can limit who can create a wiki or not. And so for some of you, you're probably wondering, well, what is, is a wiki? Uh, what, what is that all about? Well, basically, a wiki is a website that's a collaborative website that allows people to add content and share content and then comment on content that was shared and even be able to potentially edit some of the content that was shared on the site. Uh, a good example uh, of a wiki, if you've ever seen Wikipedia, right? The goal of Wikipedia is the fact that you can actually go in and edit things that other people have written uh, to bring them up to speed, to make them more current and those sorts of things and so Lion Server gives you the ability to do that. Now wikis are probably most useful in uh, employment settings where they want to share uh, you know ideas on things that they're doing or they want to share employee manuals and those kinds of things but I think you'll see that a wiki can be very helpful to a family as well or a home user and in a lot of ways uh, as I said in the web uh, tutorial it could become your website as a family as well so you don't have to create any other kind of website. So let me just uh, show you what the wiki looks like if you just click this uh, button down here that says view wiki it brings up your wiki website which looks just like this now you'll notice right here everybody's website will start off looking the same uh, you'll see we have different sections here but we can't access any of these things until we log in so let me click the login button and you'll see that you get the standard login that everybody gets when they uh, come into your server all right, so now I'm logged in. This area is gone. I'm logged in as myself. Now, a couple of things to take a look at here. I want to give you a little bit of a tour of the server, a wiki server uh, website, and then I also want to show you some ways that you can edit it and maybe make it useful. Now, you'll notice we have different sections. We have the My Page, Updates, Wikis, People, and Podcasts. So let me just go through those quickly. Uh, you can click on any of these buttons to view those pages. The other neat navigation piece, up here on the left hand side you'll notice this little film strip. If you click that it gives you kind of a nice bar there where you can quickly then go to whatever pages you want to go to. So that's just another way to navigate it uh, when, you're, when you're in the website so that it just gives you a quick way to get places. So let me just start by clicking the My Page button just so you can see what it looks like. Now when I click that page it's going to take me to my personal page and you'll notice it's not very fancy not too much there it's got my my name and my picture up here that it's taken from the server it's also got uh, a blank page here uh, and then it's got some things on the side that say updates recent documents and document info right and any document history that's there and you can see some of this stuff here in terms of things that have been done now let me just leave that open. Now you'll notice in here this isn't very interesting. It says this is a profile page and you can edit it. Now the one thing to understand about this wiki server is that you can edit any of the pages at any time just by clicking this little edit button up here. And what I'm going to show you after I give you a tour of the pages is how to actually edit a page and begin to set those things up. But you'll see if you look across the top here we have edit for edit this page. You can create new content if you want to and if you click that little plus button it'll give you the ability to either create a new page in your documents, a new file in your documents, a new blog post on your blog or a new wiki. And like I said I'm going to show you what each of those look like uh, in just a minute. And then there's a settings area right here where I can take action on this page. I can hide a person, I can go to settings or I can get some help if I want to. And let me just click the settings for a second so you can see what the settings look like. Settings are very simple for my page and each one of your users has the ability to get this. I've got a general area where I have my display name, my email address, I can upload an image or icon for myself, I can delete one to start over, that sort of thing. I also have blog areas here where if I want to start, uh, you know, if, I, if I'm putting a blog together, which uh, I've enabled so everybody has a blog, I can determine who gets access. I can say all logged in users can only read it, I don't want them editing it, but guests have no access, I don't want anybody seeing it. Or I can change change this at any time to say they can have read only or read and write. It's up to you, but it allows me to do that. I can also put comments on my blog page and it can be by either authenticated users, anybody or nobody. And so it allows me to have con uh, uh, 
comments on my page as well. And then there's comment moderation, right? So I can say, hey, I want to moderate either all the comments or anonymous ones because maybe someone's going to put something bad on there that I don't want to get through. And so before that stuff gets logged onto my blog, I'll get an, I'll get an email telling me, hey, somebody wants to do this. Do you want to approve it or not? And so the neat thing is it allows me to moderate those comments as well. So that's the blog area. And then we have services and basically just whether or not I have a blog or not. And so I can check this or uncheck it. And if I uncheck this, then the blog area up here will go away and I don't have a blog. When I'm done, then I just say, click save and everything's good. I'm going to click cancel and just leave all of that alone and come back now to my main page just by clicking on my name. So that's what that looks like. That's what all of this info is across the top. You'll notice I've got an about section where I can describe myself. I've got a document section here that shows any documents that I've got out there. And you'll see I've got a JPEG that I uploaded here and then I've got my own uh, document there. So I can see all my documents. I can see only my favorites, which means the ones I've starred, and I only starred this particular one. And then maybe documents that I've deleted along the way, which I don't have any documents that's been deleted. So I can go back and show all my documents again. You can see when I updated it and who updated them, and I can sort them and those kinds of things. So that's the documents area. And then I've got the blog area where I can create a blog. And you'll see I don't have any blog entries because I haven't created anything yet. Uh, but if I wanted to create a blog entry, for instance, all I would do is come up here to the plus button and I would say new blog post for my blog. I would give the blog post a name. So I could say new blog, let's say. That's what I want to call my first blog post. Click add. And then what happens is it takes me to a page here, blog page, where I just basically go through and write what I want to write. You know, welcome to my new blog. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there, and uh, that's that looks good. That's all I want to do up here. I can do kind of editing, right? So if I want to like bold, you know, maybe I want to make, uh, you know, this bold, so I can bold that. I can uh, I could add in different kinds of things. Let's say I want to add a add a picture in my blog. So I come down here and say, let's put a picture in there. So I just go and choose a file uh, from my uh, desktop. So I'm just going to choose, uh, well, let's just choose that one. That looks like a good folder uh, picture. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to upload it. It'll upload it to the server and add the picture. And now there's a blog post. You'll notice I can take it away at any time I want. But I can add all kinds of things like video. I can add uh, videos. I can add files. I can add tables. All those kinds of things. I can even add some HTML stuff up here if I want to and put links. Like if I wanted this photo uh, to jump somewhere, I could come here and I can add a link to it. I can link it to other pages if I want to, or I can also just link it to, uh, you know, a web page, put a URL in there. So it's kind of neat. I got the ability to edit all of these things, and when I'm done, uh, I can just click Save. Now, I want to put some tags in, let's say. So I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to say, uh, you know, photo. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, I happen to know this is in San Simeon, California. So I'm going to put that on there. So let me just add that. Now I've got tags on here. Uh, anything that's related, right? I can relate it to anything, and I can talk about recent uh, documents. This is a part of vacation photos, so I'm going to relate it to that because it's kind of related to that wiki. I can add comments now to my blog. You know, wow, great photo. Okay, something like that, right? I can add that. So now there's a comment on there. It says when it is, and as other people respond, it will go down there. And then I can say, hey, email me when the document's updated, or maybe some comment is added. When someone adds a comment, I want to get an email to see what happens. Now you'll notice at any time I can get rid of things just by clicking the little X here. And so there's my blog post. I like that. I'm fine with it. Maybe I, I want to star it because I think it's a good post. And then I'll save, and I'll click save. And it says another user's modify it. You sure you want to make the changes? Sure, I'm going to do that. And bam, there we go. Now I've got my blog post ready to go. And I can add another one after that if I want to and just continue a blog here that uh, people that I've allowed can come in and take a look at. So it really is a, a kind of a neat service. And you'll notice now I've got my new blog post up here at the top. And it kind of gives me a breadcrumb trail that I can track down. So that's what that looks like. That's how you can set up uh, a blog uh, on Wiki server and uh, those kinds of things. Like I said, I can also upload documents. Uh, that I want to upload just to have uh, available. And uh, and then I can also have my about page. And so you can do some edits, like I said, to this. So it's not just looking, you know, kind of plain. So let's say I want to get a little fancy with my uh, blog post here, my uh, about page. So I'm going to click this little button. And what I'd like to do is, uh, again, I think what I'm going to say is, I, well, first, I'm going to change this text because I don't like what this text says. I'm just going to say, welcome to my page. Okay, like this. 
and then uh, I think what I'm going to do is put a little uh, graphic in there or something. So I'm going to put a little banner, upload that to kind of spice up my page a little bit. There we go. So it's kind of like there's a there's a little banner about me, and I can add other stuff too that I want to add uh, as I go through this uh, this page. So maybe I say, well, I also want to. I also want to add, you know, um, a table or I can add audio to the page. Maybe I want to do an audio introduction. Whatever you want to do, you can do this, make some changes, spice up your page a little bit, click save, and then now it's saved. And now when people come to my page, that's what they're going to see. Now I know it's nothing great, but when you look at this, you can see that you can edit these things all the time. And then what's neat is it keeps kind of a document history of all the different things that have happened at different times, when things have been uploaded, and those kinds of things. And so that's how you would update a page, basically. So let me go back up here. We're going to navigate by clicking the little navigation bar here, and you can see we have all these different pages. So let me go to we've done we've done home, we've done my page. Let me go to the updates page for a second and show you what that looks like. So on the updates page, what happens is it'll show me all the different updates that people have done to my website and to my wiki. So if you have kids and you've got other people in your family that are updating things, you can see all the different updates they do just by looking at this page. And you can see the things that have been starred or not, who updated them, and those kinds of things. Uh, if there's anything that you haven't read, you can come to the unread section. I don't have that. But if your family puts stuff up, you could come right here and see the things that need to be read. And you go, oh, I haven't seen that update yet. I want to take a look at it. So the updates area just gives you a quick way to keep uh, uh, up to date uh, basically on anything that's happening on your blog or on your wiki. So that's the updates area. You have the wikis area and people. Let me go to people first and then I'll come back to the wiki because I want to show you what can happen in terms of customizing a wiki. So when you come on here, here are all of the people that have access to my server. and It's basically my family. And I can click whether or not I want to watch updates from, from my family members or I want to hide them. And so I can just click this right now. I'm watching updates for everybody. And it tells me the last time somebody updated their site, uh, which it looks like has been a little while for my family. But uh, that's how that works. And you can come over here to just the ones you've watched. It'll show on this page, right? And so I've just got me on there right now. And so uh, this is an area where you can come and just check out the different people in your family and see what they've put up on the site. And so it's a convenient way of doing that. So back to our little navigation here, and we're going to go finally to wikis. And so now we come on the wiki page, and basically, like I said, a wiki is a collaborative area, kind of works like a blog, where you link stuff off each other, and people can come in and edit the posts and things like that. And so what I did is I set up a wiki on uh, vacation photos, and I got a little info piece here that's, that it kind of pops up. It says, this wiki showcases the photos we took on our vacation. Enjoy. All right. And so you could actually use a wiki to do that kind of thing, to share your vacation photos. You could have family and maybe friends kind of get into the site if you uh, add them into your uh, list of users that are able to view the wiki. And you could actually kind of in some ways create your own photo sharing site. So let me go into the wiki for a second. And you can see I, I created a little icon here and I even put some photos in. So let me show you how I edited this page because this page didn't look like it when I started. But when you click the little edit arrow here, what I had to do to put these photos like this, and I want to show you this because it was frustrating at first to figure it out, is you have to add a table. And what you do when you add a table, it gives you the ability to add rows and things like this. See, up and down, you can delete rows and those kinds of things. And then all you do is within a certain area here, you put, put what you want to add, like a photo, for instance, and then it will add the photo to it. You can add columns and rows. You can space these things out. And what I did in the, uh, in the actual settings of it is I hid... Um, the I, if you notice, if I click on the table here for a second, in the table settings, I hid the table grid lines and alternate color rows. If I say show grid lines and I update it, watch, it shows the actual grid lines for the table around there. See how that works? So to make it look right, I just uh, hid those grid lines so that that way now you've got it on there. And that's how you can get multiple documents on there or pictures and things and space them out. That was something that took me a little while to figure out, so I thought I'd share that with you. Now. I'm going to just uh, save it right here because everything's ready to go. So there's my, my wiki page. Now, I can also add an icon, as you see, that I've done up here. I can change that and make that happen. You can add uh, documents, calendar, a calendar if you've got it. I've even got more options, a blog and tags. Now, you can see over here, I've got recent documents, right? I've got two recent documents. I've got vacation photos 
which is uh, this page right here that we're on, and then I added another thing to the wiki. So I added one for another place that we visited and said, oh, okay, so this is what we did. We came on this waterfall. And so I make it, it makes it look similar to the blog post I showed, but this is collaborative so people can come in and edit it whenever they want as long as I've set it for them to be able to do it. And you can see I tagged it. Uh, there's no related areas. I want to be notified when things are changed or updated on this. And so that's one of the ways you can do that. So other family members now could come in and add things if they wanted to to sort of spice this up. So the wiki really is a great way uh, for you to have a, a personal website for your family, one where you guys can add your own pages and update things. And the great thing is every single one of these pages is updatable. Uh, and, and you can search it and it's easy to find things. If you look over here on the tags, there's even a tag page where you can go through and go, oh, look at all these tags. I want to see everything from you know Oregon, for instance. And then it will bring up everything that is from that particular tag. You can filter by different tags. Uh, like I said, it's all going to show the same thing when I filter because I've kind of put the same things on there. But it really, it makes things searchable and it, makes, it allows you to be able to find things. Uh, so let me go back to the home page here. So that's Wiki Server for you, part of Lion Server. Like I said, it's basically a website that you can uh, navigate, a website that you can create. You can even change this page here to say whatever you want. If you notice the pencil coming on here, I can change anything, even on the home screen, if I want to, and uh, spice it up. And you can see how they've used grid lines here to make this happen. So that gives you a, a good idea of how this works. And so hopefully you enjoy Wiki Server. You'll see you can even have a you can even have your web mail on here, a calendar, uh, change passwords, and you can also put uh, you can also access Profile Manager. So anyways, that's all I've got for this week. Hopefully that helps you in setting up Wiki Server. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.